Charlie Ebersol, who has been quiet since the folding, which to me is so cowardly, says, quote, I know everyone has conspiracy theories, but unfortunately, this may have just died because the main investor and the founders had different visions. Our long-term vision for building something slowly and getting enterprise value was not aligned with his vision of how he saw the league, end of quote. Now, what's crazy is that Pro Football Talk picked this quote up and then followed it up with, I don't know what conspiracy theories he's talking about. Uh, I do. Charlie Ebersol has heard our conspiracy theory. Charlie Ebersol knows we're onto the whole thing. He knows. On the idea that Dundon invested to gain access to the Alliance app technology, Ebersol says, quote, that was extraordinary irresponsible journalism. It would take someone five seconds to Google and figure out that there were legal protections in place around the technology by our investors. The idea that Tom Dundon had some secret plan is asinine and not true. Here is what I truly believe, okay? Every, all cards on the table. I believe Tom Dundon joined the Alliance. The Alliance did not have steady funding early, thought it had better funding than it did, did need some help coming out of week number one, had some juice, had some buzz. Tom Dundon, who's kind of a recent billionaire that recently bought into professional sports in the Hurricanes, said, you know what? Cool. I'd like to own a league. This sounds cool. And bought in. And immediately started seeing losses, swept his whole people into the league, took over the accounting, thought he knew how to do it smarter, and saw these losses mounting and said, wait a second. And the league all along said, well, this has to be a long play, long play, long play. And then he lost his appetite. And Vince McMahon contacted, in my estimation, Tom Dundon, knowing that it was going to be prickly trying to launch the XFL on top of the alliance going into year number two and already having established some buzz and fan bases and said, hey, if you're losing your appetite for losing money, I can help you here. Why did I cut you a check under the table? I'll help ease the loss. You end the league. You get to walk away. I get to be happy, no league in front of me to take players, coaches, staffing, et cetera, away. And I think Dundon said, fine, I'm not emotionally connected to this league like everybody else is. I don't want to lose anymore. Fine, I'm out. And that's why suddenly, without even going through the end of a season, with two weeks to go, he said, well, we need to deal with the NFLPA. That was a smokescreen. I believe just like Vince McMahon did with the WCW years ago, bought a competitor to wipe it out and to clear the deck for his venture. Will it ever come out? I hope so. From what I gather, there's some powerful people in the journalism areas that are starting to dig now, and I hope it starts to come out. I would be aware that people are starting to dig and sniff around because they know that this is ridiculous. And maybe it has nothing to do with the app technology, but I'm telling you, I smell a rat. And that rat is Dodgy Tom colluding with Vince and saying, you know what, let's just end this bad boy. I stop losing money, and you get to clear the deck for the XFL.